It's Valentine's Day and over 100 soldiers gathered at Los Alamitos for a departure ceremony. Reporter Michelle Kim was there as the troops prepared for deployment. Over a hundred soldiers with the California Army National Guard gathered Valentine's Day for a departure ceremony at the Joint Forces training base in Los Alamitos. Many family members were sad to see their loved ones be deployed. It's going to be hard. It's a little upsetting. He's my best friend. Um, he's my big brother. So it's always a little, um, you know, hard to see him go. Victoria Ninos and her siblings made posters to remember what their dad will be doing in Kuwait to keep our country safe. I want this to remind me of my daddy holding the flag and fighting for the army. Many say they will keep in touch with their soldiers in any way they can. By email and um, by Skype <laughs> and video mail and stuff, yeah, for sure. And writing, I like to write. <laughs> He's taking his iPad and his iPhone, so we'll be contacting um, through video chat and um, hopefully emails. Troops here will be flying out to Shelby, Mississippi Thursday for two months of training, and then they'll be heading to Kuwait for a year-long mission. Our mission's a security force mission. Um, it's at one of the key sites in Kuwait. That we're just going to be, be basically guarding the posts there, uh, making sure that the entry control points are uh, fully manned. Thea and Edwin Flores say even though it will be tough with the distance, it's important to stay strong and trust that the soldiers will come home safe. To try and be strong and hang in there for my kids and my husband. We're going to be far away from our families, but, you know, we're, the mission's going to be good. This is Michelle Kim reporting.